Hello and welcome to the new episode of Stan Muffin YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Control Nets and also how to use it perfectly. Let's get dive into it. So first of all, I'm clearing this workflow in here and then I'm going to manager the custom nodes manager in here. Let's just type in here to Control Net. We are seeing in here Confi White Control Net Auxiliary Preprocessors install Confi Roll Studio and in here Confi White Advanced Control Net over here. This one for nodes actually. I'm going to install the Confi White Advanced Control Net in here and this one okay the, in here the closet and also i'm going to model manager and type here control net so we are seeing in here two text to image adapters right now this is not for us we need to look for control net version 1 1.1 I guess this one yeah 1.1 1 .1 and also and right now I'm going to install everything on my computer select everything and also install everything for it once everything is downloaded as it is and also close this one and restart the config UI again to create to start control net the first of all we need to double click in here load image the first thing oh that's good so and also i'm going to click this choose file button to select my girl and open it okay the next one is load uh load a checkpoint over here our model over there and here it is i'm just going to use let's have a look for the model i'm going to use in here civit ai in here realistic vision v6.0 b1 for the sd stable diffusion 1.5 and then i'm going to give you this link as well and i just download from here let's download that okay i downloaded this and here it to past it the first thing in here and the second thing we need to actually download vae 840 emma print original so we have two different models and i'm going to show you which one is this okay this one is the best one uh we also use the vae fit msa and also 840k sd 1.5 vae so i'm going to also use this vae let's get downloaded and also i'm going to go models and vae right here the past it okay then it's fine so let's get refresh the page and i'm changing the realistic vision and also i'm adding to vae load vae here and here i'm using for this one so the next one we need to use for control nets okay so this is our first main starting point the second one we need to make sure our clip is here and also i'm going to clip text encode the first and second one again same text encode this one is our prompt the first of all i'm going to press the control and select first one of the main actually nodes and control g the group and named here main and hit that enter button the second one press control and select all of the prompts and again control g to group with prompts next step we need to create control net so first of all load control net model and select inside of the list canny and also we need to double click and apply control net so i'm going to use this first prompt as a positive prompt and the second one is a negative prompt any edge control net to control net i need to select my image to image but before we do actually we need to a pre processor so that i'm going to write in here with kenny edge so we have two different actually comfy ui control net auxiliaries the first one is kenny edge and the next one is Pyra Kenny. So two of them just different kind of edge detection. It's same, but we have a differences. So before we do anything, I'm going to show you this actually things. I'm going to set 
two of them is same settings and also I'm going to take this image here the first one and the second one and also I'm going to load checkpoint right click bypass right now load VAE bypass right now and also just right click and bypass so this one is bypass and also all of them just bypass but I'm just going to show you the Kenny and Pyra Kenny so that the first of all if you uh, we need to this preprocessors this one is preprocessor but we need just one first of all I'm going to actually ex explain two things to different edge detectors Kenny edge detection the Kenny algorithm is popular edge detection technique that works by detecting edges based on gradients it applies Gaussian blurring to reduce noise calculates the gradient intensity performs non-maximum suppression to thin out edges and then applies hysteresis thresholding to define edges it's great for capturing edges but can sometimes miss finer details or weaker edges Pyra Kenny. Pyra Kenny is an enhancement of the Kenny algorithm that applies edge detection across multiple levels of image pyramids. The pyramid approach allows it to detect edges at multiple scales, capturing both fine and coarse details. This method can yield more comprehensive edge maps, especially in complex images with varied detail levels. By operating at multiple resolutions, Pyra Kenny often produces a more robust and detailed edge detection compared to the standard Kenny approach. In a sense, while Kenny is effective for general edge detection, Pyro Kenny provides enhanced detail and adaptability by combining information from multiple scales in the image. Okay, I'm going to press Q to prompt. And as you can see, we are seeing two different edge detections. So like that and also i'm going to change resolution 120 1024 to 1024 and cue the prompt as you can see we see a little bit details as well so that and as you can see i'm going to use for pirate kenny more detailing things so right now i'm deleting kenny here and i'm going to use pirate kenny in this workflow and as you can see the result so i'm going to select and right click and bypass and bypass all of this ones as well so that's perfectly fine and also the pirate kenny's results goes here image for control net as actually kenny edge detection the next one is vae we are using the this VAE for is MSA 840K for VAE original. C press Ctrl and select all of them and press Ctrl G to group in here. Just write Kenny Edge Preprocessor plus Ctrl Net and hit that enter button. So the last thing we need to resolve and also create the images so that I'm going to add K sampler here and also latent to VAE decode and also image to preview not a save right now but also we need to make latent image for empty latent image I'm going to use 512 by 512 pixels right now and I'm going to extend this case sampler a little bit and also in here empty uh, latent image right click to empty latent image to collapse and I'm using this one like it is okay like this and that's perfectly fine but also we need to VAE decode for VAE. I'm using this VAE to here. And here, the last one is Kenich preprocessor and control net results goes here positive and negative from here to K sampler. And also we need to model, go that model in here to here. That's perfectly fine. And also I'm click, I'm just press control and select the last one of them. And also press control G. This one is the result and hit that enter button so we just actually prepared all of the system right now this one is control net system to change your actually 
uh, your need or your images take that actually edge detection to results and takes that images take takes this information to apply this system to create actually positive and negative prompts to the case sampler and also case sampler just resolves that results and we can actually we just see the results as well this one is our main system before we save i'm going to select this one right click just colors to green for positive and the next one is color for red for negative and also change the name negative prompt and also positive prompts so and go to save your first workflow Kenny also we are just using Pyra Kenny control net and also just click confirm to save this workflow okay we just saved the first actually control net also you can change the positive prompts and negative prompts as well but this system the control net system has a conditions create conditions from uh, creating for edge detections so that you don't have to write positive or negative prompts let's get generate our first image okay right now i'm going to press cube prompt okay the result is here let's have a look for the results as you can see we just seeing the first of all perfectly changes to our actual images here to here so this one is the first control net section for the using kenny edge preprocessor and also control net don't forget just pirate kenny use your images to create edge detections actually algorithms to create edge detection system white and black this system this images and this image actually goes in here just like inputs conditions like a prompts and also this apply control net just applies all of the system and then just gives the information to case sampler be careful of using generations to use this information so that we just created this result also you can try different kind of things so we can also add new conditions for example like as a positive prompt let's add the for example like red hair and also red lips also let's add to red eyes let's cue the prompt again okay this is the result okay like that and you can change whatever you want like this for example like red eyes we say and uh, let's say for blue eyes and that's actually changes hairs and also eyes right so it's not actually perfect the things but also let's negative prompt in here blue hair and cue the prompt again okay that's perfectly fine and you can change with playing this positive and negative prompts and also edge detection processors so that thank you for watching me if you like the video please like subscribe the channel and thank you for watching me see you next one